In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can do free, really cool, essential things with your WordPress website. First thing we're gonna be doing is making a backup of our WordPress website. Very important thing to do, just in case something goes wrong. The second thing I'm gonna be showing you is how to restore that backup. In case something goes wrong, you can quickly get your website back up and running. Then the third thing we're gonna be doing is moving a WordPress website from one hosting to another. Again, I'm gonna show you how you can do it really easily. And the great thing is we're gonna be doing all of these things with just one plugin, and that plugin is free. So let's go. This is the site I'm gonna be backing up and also migrating in this video. It's bestroofbox.com. It's one of my Amazon affiliate websites that I created a few months ago now. I've got a full playlist that documents exactly what I've been doing with this site, if you're interested, including how I made the site, all the work I've been doing on the site, and more importantly, how much money the website makes, how much traffic it gets, and all that kind of stuff. I'll put a link up in a card now to the playlist that contains all of those videos. You'll also find a link to that playlist in the description below this video. So anyway, I don't currently have a backup solution in place for this site, so I thought it was about time that I did. It's really important that you do back up your websites because bad things can happen to WordPress websites, like they can be hacked or you can update your theme or some plugins and that can cause a problem and bring your site down and it's in those moments that you're gonna need your backup so that you can easily restore and get back up and running really quickly. So we're gonna be using a free plugin today. So let's go and install it. I'm gonna go into dashboard. I'm already logged into the site. And I'm gonna to go to plugins and then add new. And up in the search box, I'm gonna type in WP Vivid. And it's the only one that comes up is this one here. It's transfer and backup WordPress site, WP Vivid backup plugin. I'm gonna click install now. It's quite a new plugin. It doesn't have many installations just yet but it is really good. And then let's activate and that's all done. So we'll start with the backup. You've got a number of options when it comes to backing up your data. You can save backups uh, locally. That means they're generated on the site and then you can download them to your computer. So we'll do that first. Then afterwards I'll show you how you can connect to some of these remote storage uh, solutions like Dropbox or uh, Google Drive in order to save your stuff in the cloud so it's nice and safe. So we've got a couple of options over here. The first one is uh, what you wanna back up. Now generally you're gonna to wanna to back up everything, the database and the files, but if you just wanna do the files or just the database, you can choose it here. There is a schedule here as well, so you can actually schedule a regular backup. So that's pretty cool. Um, but let's just do a manual backup right now. So I'm just gonna click this big button here, backup now. I'm just gonna go away and uh, do that backup. And there we go, it says it's all done. We can check on the log page if it's been successful, that's over here. And the log is there. And at the bottom it says that it's completed and succeeded, so that's all good. If we go back to the backup and restore tab, we can see that it's here. If we want to download it to our computer, we just click on this link here. It's gonna break it down into two parts. That's part one, I can just click download. Save that on my computer. Oh, so it looks like there isn't a part two actually. My mistake, the backup isn't big enough to be split into two parts, it's just the part one. So that's fine, that's downloaded, that's on my computer, that's nice and safe. If I wanted to restore the backup, just simply click this restore button and it will restore it for me. Now, if you had to set up a fresh install of WordPress and you wanna restore a backup to that, um, you'd obviously install this plugin, but then there wouldn't be any backup um, to restore from. You'd then go to upload and then select the file on your computer and upload it to the site and then it would appear here, uh, ready for you to restore. So that's the backup, uh, backing up local. If we wanted to back up to some remote storage, we'd come into this tab here, remote storage, and you've got a few options depending on what you're using, your FTP, SFTP, Google Drive, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, Amazon S3, and Digital Ocean Spaces. Now I'm gonna use Google Drive because I've got a Google Drive, it's a free 
service from Google, so you might as well use it. So you go to Google Drive, you give it a name, like Google Drive One or something like that. Then you can uh, tick to set it as a default remote storage. And then we're just gonna click Authenticate with Google Drive. You then need to authenticate with your Google account. Of course, if you haven't got a uh, Google Drive set up, you'll need to do that first. Very easy to do, just go over to Google, type in Google Drive and you'll find uh, what you need there. So I'm just gonna log in and allow access to my drive. Let's just go back into right storage and just double check. If we scroll down, we can see that it's all there, it's perfect. So let's do another backup. Let's select this one to save back up to remote storage and we can see that it's now highlighted, the Google Drive icon. Let's click backup now. Okay, that seems to be all okay. So if I go into my Google Drive, I should be able to see it. Let's do that now. So here's my drive and we can see that there is a folder that it's created here called WP Vivid underscore backup. Then if we go in there, there is my backup file nice and safe on Google Drive. So that's backing up with this plugin, really easy, really straightforward, an essential thing to do. As I said, if you need to schedule a backup, which I would recommend you just come in here, tick the box, select how often you want it to backup uh, and decide where you want it, probably on your remote storage if you're using it. And then you just click save changes. And in fact, maybe I should do that right now. Let's, uh, let's go for a weekly backup and do that and do that. Perfect. I can now sleep soundly at night knowing that my site is being backed up. Now the next part of this plugin is a auto migration feature. Makes it really easy to move your website to maybe a different server, different domain name, whatever you like. So I'm gonna move this site onto a test area which is useful if you wanna play around, you know, maybe test out a new plugin, new theme. Uh, you can like mess around with it, break it, fix it, whatever, and then you can move it back when you're finished. So I've got a little test area that I've uh, set up. It's got a fresh install of WordPress on it. As you can see, it's just got the default theme running. Occasionally use it to test stuff out, but yeah, there's nothing really much going on. It's just a, an install of WordPress. So what you would do is you would install the plugin on the site that you wanna move to. So back into plugins, add new. Search for WP Vivid again. then install. That's installed, let's click activate. So what we need to do now in order to do the migration is come into this key area and we need to generate a key. I'm gonna set it for two hours just for security reasons. You wanna set this to as short as possible. Seeing as I'm doing it right now, two hours will be fine. I'm gonna click generate. And then I've got this key and I'm just gonna select it all, copy it, into a clipboard. And then I'm gonna go back to the site that I'm sending from, because I wanna send Best Roof Box over to the test area. Now, before I do this, I'm gonna just turn off a couple of plugins, and it does actually uh, recommend that you do that um, down here. So you need to turn off your 301 redirect plugin, any firewall, and any caching plugins. So let's do that now. So, um, what cache are we running with? Running WP fastest cache, let's turn that off. And what else have we got? We've got redirection, let's deactivate that. And then we've also got word fence, which is the firewall, let's just deactivate that. So they're all off, so we're ready to go. So let's go back into WP Vivid. I'm gonna go into auto migration. And then we're just gonna paste that code into here. Click save. So it says the connection is okay and it's okay to transfer bestroofbox.com to test, which is what we wanna do, that's the right way around. Let's click transfer. It's gonna do its thing. 
Okay, that's all finished. It took a little bit longer than I thought. It kept uh, kind of dropping out on the connection and then retrying, but it got there in the end. So if that happens to you, then just give it plenty of time and it will be fine. So now if we head over to my test um, site, test.wpeagle.com, and now if we go into backup and restore, and then refresh, we've got this backup here that we've received from bestroofbox.com. So now all we need to do is hit restore. So we've got the option here whether we can change the domain name, which is what I wanna do. I want it to be on test.wp eagle, or you can keep the original domain name. So if you were moving just start new hosting and you were gonna switch over your domain name as well, you'd go for that option. Now it is giving me a warning uh, that it's not got the recommended memory limit. It says it's at 128 and it should be 256. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that that works okay. I did a video a while back on how to increase your memory limit. I'll put a link up now if I can find that video. It might be a little bit old. Uh, but if you just Google how to increase your memory limit, you'll be able to find that. Or you can, of course, just ask your host. Um, so let's click restore, let's go for this. It's gonna do its thing. Okay, that's all finished, didn't take too long. It's done it successfully, so the memory limit wasn't an issue. That's good. So let's click OK. And well, let's take a look at the site. I'm probably gonna need to log in again now, because you know, all of the uh, users and everything have changed over to Best Roof Book, so I just need to log in with that username and password, which I'll just find if I can remember it. I think the username is, um, that one and then I think I've got the password in my clipboard all being well, let's go with that. We're in, that's good, let's take a look at the site. There we go, look, bestroofbox.com is now over on test.wpeagle.com, complete site, all working, looking nice, I can now play around with this, uh, break it, test stuff out, change it, and then when I've finished, if I want, I could then migrate it back onto the live domain. So there we go, that's the end of the video. Great little plugin there, great free plugin that you should definitely go check out. There's three very important tasks, backup, restore, and migration. I hope you find it useful. That brings the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. I hope you've now backed your site up and you know how to restore it. Maybe you've even migrated your site to a new server. Let me know how you got on in the comments. Also, if you've got any questions, do leave them there as well. I do read all of the comments that I get and I try and reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, you can do so by clicking on the eagle up there. Do check out my vlog channel, access it by clicking on my face up there. And there's a couple of videos, they've been chosen specially for you. Hope you enjoy them. Until next time, bye for now.